So here's a new video, uh, new-ish ride. It's, a, it's an older one, it's a 2014 model, uh, Explorer X XLT. Pretty bone stock. Everything I've done to it so far would be the, the wheel and tire package. I did the exact same size tire that was on the Silverado. 285, 6018. These are Kumo. Uh, the wheel is an 18 by nine and a half with a 20 millimeter positive offset, uh, which at this point, you know, with this setup on the hubs on these things, they uh, 20 millimeters. As long as you've got a, a wide enough tire, will give you some exposure. Not a whole lot, but it's got a little tow package on it. Got another baby, so had to get a third row. But no, it's it's doing pretty well so far. There are a few things that it, you know we're gonna have to upgrade a little bit to kind of change some things up. I'm gonna start with tinting the windows, and then I'll probably do a blackout grill. I just did some plastic dip on the uh, on the grill there, just to kind of get a little bit of a color match going on. The wheels are eBay wheels. Um, I don't know what the, the brand are. Actually, let's see there. I guess they're made by Circuit. So they're 18 by nine and a half um, all the way around. There was two sets that it included. You could either do an 18 by nine and a half and then an 18 by 11 staggered. And then obviously with these, they're all, all, all corners are 18 by nine and a half. So did pretty good. Um, it's got the six cylinder in it, so that's nothing crazy. But yeah, no more truck. Had to trade it for this. But I've also got a Nissan Maxima we've got that will most likely be getting traded for another truck of some sort. I had to trade my truck in because of the uh, extended cab. I needed a crew cab, obviously, with two babies. Nobody fits too well in an extended cab anymore. So, but yeah, this is the new the new vehicle. Uh, wheels and tires, I think, are probably the biggest biggest plus on this one right here. I get I get quite a few comments on on the, the fitment and, and whatnot. Uh, they do fit. So there was initially a little bit of rubbing going on on the front inner portion of like the subframe mount back in the corner there. Um, but honestly, it's only it's only one spot as you turn. You know, if you're backing up and you cut it, you, you'll feel it catch it and then it kind of goes away so nothing crazy i don't see any, any marks or any, anything coming out of the wheel or the tire so there's no you know no rubber damage or anything like that that's happening i don't think so rears obviously fit the same no rubbing or anything like that with this thing being two-wheel drive for front wheel if you hit a hard enough bump uh, or like an uh, like an like a depression more or less in the road you can feel it and it does rub a little bit so obviously it sits a little higher in the back than it does in the front. But overall, I think it's all right. Changing gears a little bit, boys. Family friendly, I guess. But I got another truck coming, so we'll uh, we'll get the truck coming and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Um, I got my eye on a, uh, a lifted Dodge Ram crew cab or maybe a GMC. I kind of like GMC over, over Chevrolet just because of the, the looks. I think they look a little cleaner, a little nicer, so. Let me know what you guys think. If you if you, if you think the, the Ram is where to go, I'll go look at one of those, test drive one of those, and, and see. But otherwise, it'll probably end up being a GMC. But here's the here's the Maxima we just got as well, so she's real dirty along with the Explorer. But yeah, there's the new car. That's why you haven't seen much uh, on on the truck lately. I sold that. Um, got way more than what's that what I was asking for, so I'm happy. But. Yeah, just let me know if you guys uh, have any ideas on, on what to get or what to do to this. If you guys know any tricks or, or anything with these Explorers, let me know. I might be lifting it if there's a, a you know a decent lift that's out there. Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put any kind of pressure on the front suspension or the, or the front axles with some of those strut tower lifts. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Shoot me a comment, like, subscribe. Have a good one, guys. See ya.